Hi everyone, this is Will here at 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. Welcome. I'd like to talk about groove extraction today, which is a method of taking a live performance, extracting the groove from that performance, and using it to quantize a programmed uh, performance, essentially. So let me uh, dive right in here and show you guys. So what I have is I have a live bass part, this right here. Okay, so let's have a quick listen. Okay, so the bass player is doing something like this, I think. Okay, so first thing I want to do is record a sort of a close approximation of what he's doing. So let's do this. We'll set up a quick, um, a quick pre-roll of say two. Okay, and. Let's record that, okay, really quick. Now, uh, I would probably record the whole song in one go um, using my MIDI keyboard and then go back and quantize, but we'll just do a couple of bars so to show you how it works. Uh, let's take a quick look at this uh, in the MIDI editor. So you'll see, these are our notes. They're, see, they're not on the grid. Some of them are off the grid. Now, you could quantize this using 16s and snap everything to the grid, but uh, I want to try and capture the live, the, the, the feel of the live bass player. And also, you can see there's a little bit of uh, velocity change here, but I want to use the bass player's velocity change as well. So uh, first step is let's select um, the, the corresponding piece uh, that the bass player played, which is these one, two, three, four bars here. Um, so the first thing we do is we open up Beat Detective, make sure that we have the Groove Template Extraction button uh, clicked. Now we want to we want to tell the computer what these four bars are. So uh, bar one is five, which is already in there, and that's bar nine, which is also correct. So the next thing we do is we hit Analyze. I actually did this earlier, so it's already analyzed. But you would hit Analyze, and then you can use this Sensitivity button here to um, either you know, increase the amount of uh, trigger points or decrease. I'm just going to have it at 100 right now. And I'm going to hit Extract. Okay, so um, here we go, Extract. Now, it's going to give me some options. Uh, it'll ask me, it'll tell me I can save it to, the, to a clipboard, save it to a disk, or cancel it. Now, uh, we could save it to a disk and, you know, sort of have a folder with all these grooves to use at a later point. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the clipboard for now. So, uh, save to clipboard, and there it is. So now we have, we've captured this performance here. So now I want to apply it to my uh, just, to what I just played, which is uh, this. Okay, uh, so what I do first of all is I select the notes. Okay, and then I'll um, go back up here to Event to Quantize. Now we have all these different options here in Quantize. We've got, you know, you can quantize it to the nearest half note, the nearest eighth note, the nearest sixteenth note. You could use this, um, these various, you know, Cubase or, uh, you know, Logic or MPC, MPC, MPC style grooves, excuse me. In this case, I'm going to use the Groove Clipboard. So we click on that. And it gives me a bunch of options. It'll tell me I can use the timing, the duration, or the velocity. I want to oh, keep the, the, the duration of the notes that I have and actually use the keyboard release and the sustain uh, to, to, to adjust that. So I'm going to actually um, uncheck this. OK. Um, so it'll preserve the note duration. Now, if we hit Apply, you know what I'll do? Actually, I'm going to open up the... Uh, the MIDI window so you can see this as it happens in real time so I'm going to hit apply and you see the way everything moves and also the velocities down here let me let me uh, undo that okay you see the way all these velocities down here and then these notes all move watch okay so now we should be really quite lined up with our bass pattern um, and have a nice sort of uh, like synth bass sort of underneath the actual performance giving it a nice girth and sort of uh, like a weight to it. Okay, so here we go. Have a listen. Okay, so that 
that's essentially how you would do it. Um, I find some people will tell you you can just select the entire performance down here and just extract the groove at once. I find that doesn't work, that you end up kind of uh, wasting time going and trying to fix MIDI notes after the fact. I find four eight bars is about uh, is about a good sort of a chunk to do at one time, maybe maybe 16 bars. Um, so there you have it. That's a, the, the, an introduction sort of to groove extraction. You can go a little deeper, but for what we're doing here, this is a, an excellent trick. And in fact, this um, technique is used quite a lot in modern pop music to give these songs this nice fat undertone, but still maintain a kind of a live sort of a performance. So uh, this has been Will at 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. Hope this has been helpful, everyone. Uh, talk to you again. Bye-bye.